What is up, YouTube? Okay, so today we have a very special video planned. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a while, and I just thought, well, now is the time. Like, now is the time. So I, if you know anything about me, I am obsessed with lip balm. Obsessed with lip balm. Whenever I'm like shopping and I'm in the impulse section or the lip balm section, and there's a, a flavor I haven't tried before, I have to get it. Just so I know I tried it. So I know like where it ranks in my, in my brain. I have a list of like, get these, don't get these, get these, this is okay. So today we're gonna dive into that, like a little bit of it. I have so many more lip balm flavors. Or scents is what you call it. I don't know. Flavor, scent, flavor. Um, so I have so many of them. It was hard to like dial them down to like a more comprehensible compact list, but we did it. We're getting it right now. We're doing it. Let's just jump into it because they're like halfway ranked. They're halfway ranked halfway in categories. There's categories and they're ranked at the same time. So we're going to start at the lower tier and then we're moving our way up to the must haves. This is the, if you find them, you can get them if you need lip balm. So this is my suggestions. This is my ranking and let's just get into it. So first off, we have the Chapstick brand. Chapstick brand, the brand of Chapstick. Chapstick brand, which is kind of controversial because it has like, well, let me look at the actual ingredient. Well, the actual ingredient that's controversial is acetyl alcohol and there's another one that's like controversial oh acetyl alcohol yeah that has like alcohol so it dries up your lips so you like want to put on more to have that other re relieving feeling and then you put on more and you put on more it's not shards of glass lots of people like to make the rumor that it's shards of glass it's not it's a little alcohol so we're just gonna Go through these flavors really quick. We got cherry chapstick. It's iconic. It's classic. It's basic. It's reliable. It's in a Katy Perry song. <laughs> so what can go wrong with it? Um, a lot of people say cherry is like medicinal flavored. I'm not one of those people. I like cherry. I like me a good cherry. But um, then we got sweet watermelon. This one's really good. Watermelon is one of my... Oh, it's my third favorite fruit. Apples, pineapples, watermelon. My fav third favorite fruit. I love it. Oh, love the watermelon. It's part of the summertime series. So if you're looking for it and you can't find it, it's part of the summertime series. And then we got cake batter. Cake batter, it, cake batter tastes the same as sugar cookie. And you can get cake batter and sugar cookie most reliably through Walmart, which is, if you gotta go to Walmart for it, go to Walmart for it. That's the only place I can find it because I look at other stores and I'm like, why don't you have cake batter? Why don't you have sugar cookie? It's here. And also I might add, sugar cookie is a holiday flavor. It's around that time frame. And cake batter is like all the time. But, oh, it just smells so sugary and I love it. Okay, so that's chapstick. Those are always bottom tier. They're reliable, but don't go for them all the time get some better stuff there's some better stuff out there so next we're moving on to apothecary lip balm through lucky's market now r.i.p rip lucky's of st louis <laughs> it's all in boulder Cal uh, colorado now so i can't go to colorado i've even emailed them as being like can you mail me this product because i loved it so much and they're like we can't mail or ship products at this moment and it's like oh good i just want the steakhouse sauce and some lip balm <laughs> like anyway but their lip balms are so good and they're like a dollar so if you're in colorado go get some <laughs> they used to be nationwide but not anymore they went bankrupt and kroger like dropped them or whatever i don't know I don't know business drama but we got so like uh, lower on the list we got citrus flavor this is like an orangey orangey lemony limey it's like all citrus like blended in a one it's good it's it's one of my favorites uh, there's other flavors that they have they have like six flavors and i narrowed it down to two but the one that knocks it out of the park every time is acai 
I love acai. It's like berry flavored. I don't know. It's just good. I love acai. Acai. I feel like I'm saying that wrong every time I say it. Acai. Or I just say it weird. <laughs> like, acai. 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 I don't know. I think I'm saying it either wrong or I'm saying it right but weird. But acai is so good. I'm gonna smell it. Oh, it smells like a like a berry oatmeal. It's so good. All right, moving on to Lush. Now, there's like two kinds. Yes, this is a lip balm review, but I've added some lip scrubs because I consider lip scrubs in the lip balm family. I feel like they're the same thing. Just one does more specific things and then the other does like a little bit of everything. Now, we're gonna start off with the lip scrub. It's Unicorn. I don't know if this was a limited edition. One of these was limited edition. I know, so anyway, this one is Unicorn. Unicorn is basically blueberry. Why don't they call it blueberry? I don't know. Oh, but this one's so good. I love this so much, it, but it does get a little like hard if you like, I don't know don't use it enough. Like I didn't use it for a week and then like the whole top layer was just like crusty and hard. Mm. 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 But it's so good and you can like lick it. Like lip balms you shouldn't lick. But lip, lip scrubs you can lick and they're so good. Mm. Mm. If you are at a Lush or near a Lush or you can um, mail in a Lush because they mail it in. Get the Unicorn Lip Scrub. It's so good. Ugh. Get it. Get it. Like, I can't recommend it enough. It's so good. If you love blueberries, get it. <laughs> Next we have is the Rose Lollipop. I think this is the limited edition one. I, I can't remember. But this one basically tastes like... Um, what do you... What, like strawberry lemonade? Or like a pink lemonade? Because like pink lemonade tastes different than regular lemonade. Don't... Try me with that. They taste different. And this tastes like a pink lemonade rather than a uh, regular lemonade. But the only problem I have with this is it's like, it's hard to like get out and like it gets all over your finger and then you wipe it on your lips. And then it's just like so oily. I don't know if you can see it. I'm not gonna try. But it's just so oily. And I don't like an oily like lip balm. But like I like how it's all natural and it tastes like lemonade. I just don't like how oily it is. Maybe that's why it's handmade. It's handmade and that's why it's oily. I don't I don't get it. I feel like the formula could go back to the drawing board. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. Well, those are my two lush picks now moving on this is getting a little controversial like skip ahead a minute or two if you don't want to like partake in this but um i got the shane dawson <laughs> root beer <laughs> um flavors of lip scrub and lip balm i won't get too much into this yeah i like his content but i don't like his actions and controversial background i think it's very effed up and i don't defend it i don't endorse it i'm mainly a spectator i see the drama play out and i'm like huh that sucks but like i don't actively support except for this because i wanted root beer. i love root beer so much maybe one day we'll do a root beer review but uh, the root beer lip scrub, this is actually my favorite. I love this more than the blueberry stuff. And I love this more. And I kind of want more, but I don't want to put more money in his pocket. So it's like, uh, it's tough. But I think I can make this myself. Um, we'll just keep the component and uh, just refill. <laughs> I don't know. But I get a root beer lip scrub. Don't get this kind. Get Just get a root beer lip scrub. Uh, and this... It looks cool, like it looks like a bullet or like a sex toy, <laughs> but it's like, there's not much product. Oh, well, I used it a lot, but there was not that much product enough for it to warrant the price point it was. So I feel like I got gypped and I even asked them and I'm like, why does it cost this much? Like what's so awesome about it? And they would not, they literally would not give me an answer, would not give me an answer of like, what the price point is and what makes it that price. Like, I'm not that one that complains about prices, but like, I was just a little curious of like, huh, 
this seems a little basic and it looks cool, but why was it so much money? Never doing that again. We're just going to find something else that's similar. Okay, moving on, moving on, moving on. Top tier lip balms. These are must-haves, and I think one is discontinued, so good luck. And But not discontinued, but I think it's like just redone. I, I think it still exists, but it's just redone. So I haven't tried the new version yet, but oh, we're going to start off with this one. The Beautiful Bastard uh, C. Cliff Mint Lip Balm. This one is so good. I'm not the hugest fan of mint flavored anything or even lip flavor, uh, mint flavored lip balms, but this one is, oh, it is so good. And I was like using it and I was like, this is so good. And then like one day I was just reading the ingredients and it had like hemp seed oil. Oh my God, <laughs> like CBD, hello. There's CBD in here. I was like, this is so good. Mm -mm. Like, ugh. There's no alcohols or anything in it. It's very um, handmade and ethically sourced. I love ethically sourced and handmade stuff. Well, except for the Lush stuff. But ethically, ugh. yes, please. Thank you. But yeah, this is Beautiful Bastard by Philip DeFranco. He does the news on YouTube. But I love his lip balm. And he has good lip uh, beard oil, too. I love his beard oil. I don't have it on right now, but... I love his beard oil too. And I think he's reformulating everything in his entire collection. So go there now and check it out, I guess. Maybe it got better. So, but anyway, this is, anyway, this is really good. Really good. Can't recommend this enough. And then last but not least, we have the number one lip balm. It is the CBD lip balm by Full Spectrum and Game Up, Game Up, that's it. Full Spectrum CBD Lip Balm by Game Up, which is the same company. I don't know if it's owned by Nate Diaz and Nick Diaz, or they just endorse it a lot, or they're just ambassadors of it, or like CEO. I don't know what the connection is with the Diaz brothers and Game Up, but this lip balm is so good. There's no real scent or flavor to it. It has like a light vanilla cupcake-y flavor, but it's super faint. It's not like in your face about it. But this is so good. I use this all the time. I need to get some more soon. I'm almost out. I'm like down to like there and then it's gone. Oh, it's so good. I'm gonna put this on right now. Mmm. Mm. I love this so much and I'm not even the biggest CBD fan or advocate, but this stuff is so good. I love this stuff. <sighs> I can't I can't recommend this enough. Get this one and then get this one and then um, get the cake batter one. That's good. I'm not going to recommend the Lucky's ones because they're hard to find. And get the unicorn scrub and like sure if you want to support them get this but just make your own i found a recipe for a root beer lip scrub and i'm gonna get i'm gonna make my own um, but definitely 100 percent get these two these two are my favorite i use these very regularly and i i can't go through a day without one in my pocket like it's like phone wallet keys mask and my lip balm <laughs> like literally need it i need it to get through the day and like i don't know lip balm is an addictive habit i put it on when i'm stressed i put it on when i'm nervous i put it on when i'm just like chilling in a good vibe like i put it on all the time i love lip balm so i hope this video was helpful if it wasn't i'm sorry go try some other lip balms and find out your favorite like the point is try as many out as possible don't just stick to the commercial brands. Get some stuff that is ethically sourced, handmade, vegan, um, fair trade, like all that stuff. Oh, CBD, like get all that stuff. Like try everything out of the whole spectrum and see what fits for you. And when you find a favorite, hold on to it. Buy like three of them and like hold on to it. Don't lose it. Everyone loses their lip balm, but. I don't because I I'm obsessed with lip balm the only time I lose lip balm is like it melts in my car or 
it went through the wash and it's a sad day very depressing and then i'm just like whatever i'll just find another lip balm so i hope that helped if not go try out some lip balm put them in the comments below because no one really leaves comments <laughs> um help me out suggest a lip balm to me i'm always looking for lip balm give me some lip balm suggestions i gave you a bunch so i hope that helped until next time, break your mighty. Bye.